We're going to start by closing the distance in, in this video. We're going to do that by establishing the jab. My hands are high, everything's tight. I'm going to take a slight step along with the jab and then pull back. So I'm here. Again, I'm stepping as I punch. Alright guys, I'm Cameron Miller here at Camposano Martial Arts. Today we're going to be going over establishing the left hook. I'm going to start it off by setting it up with the jab. From there I'm going to slip to my left side and then throw the hook to me. So it's going to look like this from the top. Alright guys, we're going to continue building off of the first combination with the jab and the slip along with the hook. So this time we're going to add a shot to the body as well, so it's going to look like this. I'm going to jab, slip, throw the hook, I reset, and I go to the body. So it's going to look like this. Jab, slip, reset, body. We're going to be doing a walking drill now. So this is a jab, jab, cross. So that's a one, one, two. Uh, my partner is going to walk forward. I'm going to take a little bit steps back. I'm not going to step too much and get up way out of range. So first thing we have to establish here is the range. One, one, there you go. You guys see I didn't move. He's already coming on me. If I don't move, then he gets jammed because he's, he's walking it. So I got to make sure I move with my partner. Okay, so uh, this can be a difficult combination, especially because everyone uh, who's on the catch it side will usually typically overdo it. They either step out too much or they catch too close. So you definitely want to be, you know, thinking about your partner's range. You got to remember, so you're you're the trainer, so you got to make sure that we're making our partner better. Okay. 